in my opinion, uh, the creation is something much more deeper than a technical formalism. I mean, a, a very good, uh, let's say, way, I, I remember very, very well from uh, uh, a Nobel Prize lecture uh, that with a person that uh, I, I have, I was very lucky to work with for a couple of years. And I know him, uh, um, he, he, he is Jewish, and he's a very, he's a very humble man. And I remember uh, I, when I got the, pro the Nobel Prize, uh, uh, three minutes after he, they called him from Stockholm, he came into my room and said, Francesco, they call me from Stockholm, they give me the Nobel Prize. And they say, oh my God, I mean, uh, this man, it's outstanding. It's order of magnitude higher than me. And he's coming to me in my office. I'm, I'm nothing, I'm just a student. To say, hey, they called me from Stockholm, I'm surprised. And I say, what he invents, it's a piece of him. It's a piece of his humanity. And the value of what he invents depends also on this, because I can recognize this. Uh, I can recognize formulas, but a formula without a man behind is nothing, like uh, a clinical uh, document without uh, a, a man behind it, it's nothing. Uh, so I think uh, that this is very important in science, because uh, the professionality uh, it's very strong. I mean, uh, in the United States in the 60 years, uh, it was uh, conce considered like a sickness, you know. To be recognized as a, a, as a good man, it's not important uh, for what you are. It's important what you do. But what you do is what you are. I mean, how can you separate this? And uh, people, they were got, getting success only because of numbers because of uh, parameters, because of um, laws, laws of merit. Uh, but then, then look at the economy. Look at the economy, the disaster in the economy. This is exactly the example of um, a reality based on numbers. Okay, so the science cannot be like this. Cannot be like this. I tell you that I, the big pleasure I had uh, in, in the last, uh, weeks to talk uh, with, uh, with the scientist who is a violinist, okay, he plays violin. Um, I mean, uh, I really feel, I really feel the how wonderful was in him uh, the sense of beauty. He's an artist, but he's a scientist, a very good ne neuroscientist. Um, he's, he's going to conjugate the sense of music with the sense of uh, science. And I had with him uh, an an enormous empathy, and, and then we we are working together fantastically, fantastically, because we, we have an empathy, and without empathy are just numbers. So, how do you reflect in art? Uh, I mean, because we have numbers also in arts. Maybe they are not numbers; they are something else. Well, the, the human aspect is fundamental. I mean, uh, as an artist, uh, I mean, what you do really is who you are. It's very intimately linked, I think. Uh, so obviously, uh, the the more the more you understand about what it is to be a human being, uh, which essentially for me is uh, the, the meaning of life. Essentially, is love, and the more you connect with that, and the more you communicate that. Uh, really the, the more beautiful your work becomes because uh, love is, is the greatest truth, I think. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's what we're all looking for, it's all, what we all aspire for, too. And uh, if, if you can penetrate that meaning uh, in your work, then you create something that really is of a great service to contemporary culture. Is that if you communicate love and the aspiration for love, and help people to uh, seek that, that truth, which gives them hope. Uh, I think that makes your work much deeper and it connects with much more people. So that, that would be, I think that the human aspect is, is really fundamental. And it's very similar to, 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 to the doctor in, in the hospital. 
you don't deal with a number, you deal with a person. Uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's sometimes when you deal with doctors, they, they don't have that understanding. And uh, it's quite concerning, and that creates stress and makes you even sicker. <laughs> so it's very important to have that personal, uh, and a, a lot of it's emotional intelligence and so on, all these things come from that deeper, because the only way to, I think, the only way to relate to another person is with love. There's no other way to relate to another person, even if you don't know them. It, it's to love, that the human being is something phenomenally precious. So I, that's how I try to approach the human being. being even in my, in my work and my models and so on, I have to have that sense of dignity, that sense of respect, uh, which, which is essential so as to, to really communicate the deeper aspects. Otherwise you slip into to, uh, an unhealthy understanding and you communicate that unhealthy understanding of the human condition in your work. And that actually, uh, that, that, that's, that's bad for society. When art, uh, when, when I, I believe that the art that, that, that degrades the human condition is, 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 is damaging to, to society. Uh, because what we communicate uh, is very, very important, and we're all in. Uh, I believe we're all in it together. And if, if we, if if some people do things that are more positive and increase the love in society and culture, then that that raises us all. It's like the, it's the tide that raises all the boats. If 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 the more love and the more positive energy there is in culture. Uh, the better, and I think an artist has, has a great opportunity to to raise the tide. Uh, but to do that, you have to be connected with that love. You have to have that energy in you, and that's very very important. Uh, so as to actually serve culture through that. So let, let me close because uh, we we are reaching one hour with the with the final consideration. Just to resume uh, what we were saying, uh, I think that. Uh, one of the things that uh, remains in my mind is the connection between shape and beauty. Uh, think about a shell. Think about uh, how the symmetry of a shell is not casual. There's not, ca it's not casuality behind it. There is no casuality behind it. Uh, think about a swarm uh, of, of birds or fish, birds flying in the, in, in the sky. They are changing the direction altogether. There is a, a social intelligence behind it. There is a social intelligence between uh, bacteria that uh, organize themselves to defend the borders against uh, anti antibiotics, for example. There is a social intelligence or on tumor cells that propagates. Uh, there is always a big connection between uh, uh, shape, beauty, and intelligence and harmony. So let me say that uh, beauty and harmony are maybe if we can resume uh, uh, the really linking point between uh, art and science. And that's probably what we both want to express. So uh, let's, let me thank you for, for your attention. And uh, let's say if someone wants to, to make some question, we are both available to answer you. Thank you. I have a uh, short question because we are sitting here for one hour and a half and so on. I don't understand what you say, but you 